Hello and welcome back to the Van Revo server. Now today I have got a little project which I'm going to undertake over in the farming district in the sort of spawn town area. Um, because I want to do a bit more work on my farm behind me and I want some green dye to do that and therefore I need a lot of cactus. Now I've set myself up a little cactus farm over there. But um, I kind of had a little bit of a play with it and I kind of, whoops, <laughs> I kind of found that this wasn't efficient enough for me. It wasn't quite good enough because sometimes the cactus would pop off, they'd land on the top and then they'd just die. You lose those items, never to be seen again. So I kind of set this up as a temporary little fix to get going with. Um, but I sort of went away, scratched my head a bit, came up with an idea that I really like and I'm going to go over to the spawn town and build it in the farming area so that everybody should have just loads and loads of cactus. If they ever want it, it's going to be there. Lots and lots of cactus. Let's have a little look what's in here. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I just emptied that a moment ago. So, um, yeah, hopefully this will be all good. So I'm going to get some things together and head over to the spawn town and we'll see you in a bit. Right, I've got everything together that I think that I need for this build. And I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update around the area. Now this looks like a drone. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's, it's up on the hill there. I think that belongs to Mango. I don't think it's going to be in range of my... Um, iron farms. I might check that later just in case he's thinking about putting doors up there. I'll just need to have a chat with him just to be sure but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, so yep yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> Over here um, I did a little bit of trading earlier in the week um, with KKB. Now he wanted a flight bow and I've got bows for days since I've been fishing and AFK and in the early game I was doing a lot of that and I've got loads of stuff left over. So flight bow, flight bow is worth a bit more than two diamonds. Attempting to give back any part of this payment is penalty of law for, for, for KKB. I guess I shouldn't take this, but <laughs> I really thought this redstone was fantastic. I really, really want the redstone. Now, if any of you guys have watched some of the tutorials, you'll have an idea of what I'm gathering all this redstone for. I need around about 20 stacks of redstone to get started with this project and I'm getting close so I'm getting excited and I think I might be able to buy some more redstone off Ordexy who has been AFK in his witch farm which looks absolutely awesome by the way. Um, he's been getting loads of redstone, I've been buying it, I've been spending diamonds over there like crazy because he can get it for free, I want it, why not? You know? <laughs> So that's what's been going on, been getting the redstone, KKB's contributed to that and also Mango has actually started a weekly newsletter on the server. Now I've had my second edition dropped off here and I haven't actually had much chance to read it so let's just have a little read of the first edition just to bring you up to date. I was going to keep this scandal under wraps but um, welcome to the first weekly Mango News where we look north, east, south, west to bring you the best news possible information. New post news best new possible information oh goodness delivered right to your front chest okay all for the cost of one diamond for two weeks of the service we hope you enjoy i paid mango a load of diamonds because i thought this was a great idea and i think he's got some really nice ideas here so i'm looking forward to this but this groover treats his working working farmers poorly well i would say they're very safe but you know We've just found out that Groover is suspected of being inhumane with his farmers, hitting them and yelling at them. <laughs> okay, well, we won't read the rest of that one. That one we'll save for another day. So, the next edition here, we'll skip past the front page, because I think that's the same. Interested in joining, blah blah blah. So, Connor gets control. Control that... <laughs> Connor, that misfit, is now able to control your PvP command. Be extra careful around him. A message from Hapak. I want to tell... <laughs> I want to tell people that in the Never Hub, please do not break the glass. It's not yours, so please don't break it. I mean, that's fair enough. Need wood. Log Brothers, have you covered? Need wood, the Log Brothers shop, blah, blah, blah. I won't read all of this. I'll sort of flick through it, and if you want to um, stop, Spider gets bad luck. I'm going to have to have a read of this later, because this is brilliant. I absolutely love this. Note from Mango. I want to say thank you again for all the great support recently. I'm sorry the paper's a bit late this week, but I was busy. I hope you'll be okay with it until next week, Mango. Yeah, brilliant. Great job. Absolutely love it. Keep them coming. I want to get loads of additions of this, and I'm going to put them up into item frames in a trophy room down in my base. So, 
yeah, that's kind of the updates. I'm going to head over to where I'm going to build this thing and get started. And we'll see you there soon. It's been a couple of days since I came over this way. So this is my very first view over into the farming district. Now you can see my balloon over there. And you can see this absolutely huge drone right here. Now I'm pretty sure this is by Sergeant Dirk. And oh my goodness, he hasn't been on here that long. But look at what he's got up to. That is immense. He's been making huge... <laughs> oh my goodness. And he's also done this as well, which is the um, melon and pumpkin farm. This is the old mango design, so you probably all know it. Um, but it's really, really efficient. It's really good. Um, if you're going to make a, a melon and pumpkin farm, make this design. It's fantastic. So he's built this up, and let's go down. Whoops. Bang. Yeah, he's doing okay. He's getting a few drops down there. I can't quite clip that chest. Maybe I can, if I just go through there. Yeah, that's full. Absolutely full. So he's getting getting a lot of nice drops here. But this is right in the farming district. And this is basically where I want to build my little cactus farm. The community cactus farm. So I need to find a nice little plot for that and just see where it will fit. Now what's this? It's a boat in a cage. I'm guessing something was in there once, but um, it's despawned. Oh well. So, <laughs> let's see. If that's going to be there, that's there. I think actually my little thing would look quite nice up here. And it looks like nobody's using it, so I think this is where I'm going to go with it. My goodness, look at that thing. That is huge. Absolutely huge. That covers most of spawn. It certainly makes my little air balloon look small. <laughs> okay, so let's get organised and sort of organise a little space here for ourselves. Now, I want to fill in that little gap over there. And these look like they could have been possibly creeper blasts or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get up some clay and just fill in those holes so it's nice and flat. So I've got a nice area to build on. I might actually bring my beacon over and do a bit of beacon building. But um, that's for later. So let's fill in this right here. Now the footprint of this thing is going to be 7x7. Seven seven, um, with a little bit outside. So kind of 9x9. Nine nine, but really the place where it's going to sit is 7x7. Seven seven. So maybe... Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that little bit of prime area there fine. So let's just fill that in a little bit and whoops, make this look a little bit more usual maybe. Like that. And round that corner off a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Don't want anything too, too regular. Mm, starting to get into the funny colours now. Okay, anyway, this is where we're going to go with it, and I'm going to need to go down a little bit. So if I can bring it right up to this corner, then I think I'm good. So a little bit less off there. Okay, let me get organised and put a footprint down, um, because I can see me spending some time playing about with this until I'm happy with the space that I've got. And um, yeah, we'll see you back in a moment. Okay, so this is the footprint area that I've gone for. I've put in a little bit of stepping up here so that it's easy to walk up to it. And I'm going to put some reserve storage sort of directly below. So there's going to be a trap door here and then some ladders going down. In fact, why don't we just put that in now? Two, three, four. And... Yeah, that's probably enough storage. So let's see... That one's going to feed into something right there, and then dump. Ooh, if I just go straight up like that, that works. Yeah, yeah, that works. And then just fill that in, and yeah, I just need to put in some chests and sort of sort that out. But basically, yeah, the these are going to be reserve chests, and then there's going to be the main chest up top, which is always filled up first. Where's my ladders? There they are. Great. And that one's going to be where the trapdoor is. And let's just put a bit of light down here. 
Right, yeah. So, let's actually get building this thing. So, this is going to be the main level where things drop. So, I need to build this up a little bit more. Like that. And then I need the sand. Like there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And, gosh, I, I hate having a full inventory, but this will get easier in a bit. It'll get much more straightforward soon. So, like that, and then that there. And then I need to go up a little bit and add in a little ring at this level going around. Most of this isn't required. It's kind of placeholder stuff, really. Um, but, you know... This is what you have to do when you're building these things. Now, this is actually going to be a completely lossless farm. So, not like a lot of them where the item pops off, lands on top of the cactus, gets destroyed. This is going to be completely lossless. So, I'm quite excited for it. I think this is going to be really nice. Now, let's get that off the hotbar and put that in. Now, I want to put in these here, here here and here now let's see do I have the items that I need I do fantastic so that's going to go there and then that on top of that push that in a little bit break the rail underneath push it in a bit further and then break <laughs> I think I've done this right let's just see yes perfect so basically that is sitting on top of that hopper right there and that hopper is going to pick up the items out of this hopper and send them down below so if i sort of throw in those into this one you'll see the feeding out and gone and they should be down in the chest below there so let's just yeah let's hop down and make sure that's definitely working yep there they are fantastic brilliant now basically that is the entire build it's just repeat 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 again and again and again <laughs> so let's put in some legs and some ladders so i can get up and down nice and easily and yeah i'm gonna get on and build this up let me just place that one yeah thank you so yeah, that's the entire thing. I just need to do that again and again and again until I've got it to the height that I want it. So we've seen a bit. Right, there you go. That is the first layer all done. Now the reason that this is lossless is because the cacti will grow. It'll get broken by this block here. And then when it breaks, it goes straight into this hopper here and feeds straight down. And that's kind of as simple as it gets, really. And you'll get really good rates off this, you'll get good drops if you build this in the spawn area, which I'm sort of thinking maybe just a little bit outside the spawn area, I'm not sure. Um, but I know that people are around here often, so this is going to be loaded quite a lot. So I'm going to get some really good rates off this. Now, I'm just going to put in a couple of blocks there and fill this in with furnaces. I don't know if this makes any difference, to be honest, but, um, you know, why not? It looks kind of nice. So if I do that there, and then that there, that there, and just put these in back to back so that I don't have any furnace faces anywhere. And then one there. That should be all good. Now, that's it. Next layer. Okay, so that is the core of the farm all finished. Didn't take that long at all, to be honest. Kind of simple build. Um, so I've got a few drops coming out of there. Yeah, that's not doing too bad. That's doing okay. So I'll empty that out and we'll move on to the next stage. Now, the next stage that I wanted to do was to actually put a skin on this. And as you probably guessed, I want that skin to be looking a bit like a cactus if I can. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I need to go over to my wool mart shop and do a little bit of a raiding of the stock room and grab some wools that I like the colour of and bring them over and get this going start building this up but um, basically it is around about what is it that's uh, 20, 28 blocks tall i think 28 sounds right and maybe if i've got some glass that would be nice in here maybe not 
I don't know. I think it's okay like that. You're actually not going to see this inside once it's all skinned over. So yeah, I'll go get some stuff together and be back in a moment. Whilst we're over here, I thought it'd be worth having a little look around the shopping area because we've had a few extra shops pop up and this one... Yeah, nothing's done with that one yet, but I know that Ordex has been working on his redstone shop right there. And right next door to it we've got Red's Redstone Consulting. I've already used that. He's built me a lovely elevator that's going to break pretty soon. <laughs> Oh, I might have to ask him for a little bit of extra help on something else. Um, but yeah, that's that's his shop right there. Whoops. Mm. <laughs> We've got the slime going on here. Now this one I haven't actually had a look at, so I don't know what this one is. Puddle... <laughs> the Pud Puddle O Books. The Puddle O Books. I suppose you don't have to read them. Okay. Well, I don't need any books, but um, that's quite nice. One diamond. Blast protection, fire protection, these aren't bad. Yeah, these are pretty good prices. Depth Strider, Smite. I mean, yeah, he's got quite a good stock, actually. I mean, I don't need any of these, but um, yeah, fair play. This is where to get them. Let's go have a look at the other shops. Let's get rid of that and that. Now, the potion shop was already there. Now... Yeah, there's a big area over here still waiting to be developed. And we've got this arch. Yeah. What is this going to be? Future Shop of Mind. Ah, okay. I like it. I like the shape. It's looking good. And we've still obviously got the Log Brothers right there. We might be making... Where were they? What happened? Somebody shot at me. Okay. I don't know what happened there, guys, but I might be making a visit here later and actually buy some stock if I need any wood. I might need some wood, I don't know. I'm not sure. Now, what's this one? For odds and ends. Sawyer's General Store. Now, I like that. Nice two-story affair. Diamonds per slot. Ooh. That's not bad. Three diamonds, so... <laughs> that one went well. Two diamonds, sold out. Two diamonds, sold out. One diamond. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad. Little selection there. And the Neverrack. So yeah, four stacks of Neverrack for one diamond. That's not bad. Not bad. Okay, and we're back. So let's just get up there very quickly. And have a little look at these cacti. Now, if I jump up there, we can have a little look. So they're kind of set into th five segments. So I've dark section, dark section, dark section, and two light sections. So what I'm going to do is take the center line here and use this darker green going all the way up. Don't know how I'm going to get back down from this, but you know, <laughs> that's what Feather Falling 4 is for. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then... Oh, look at that. Heart and a half. Easy. Easy peasy. I can do this. So, I'm going to split this like that. Let's take that one back. Because people aren't really going to see up here. So, let's get some lighting up on top here as well. Because I don't want anything spawning. So maybe if I just did them on these, in fact, that would cover it all nicely. Da, da, da. Right, and then down to this one. And then the same again. Okay, I think that's going to look quite nice. The sand at the bottom feels a little bit long. Um, so what I'm thinking is maybe if I just took out a little bit of that and just dropped it down a wee bit. Oh yeah, and this is the fun one, taking out the sand behind the ladder. Proof. They all come off. So what do we think of that? Yeah, that actually feels so much better surprising it is surprising how much that makes a difference so whoops <laughs> i need to get on and fill in the rest of this 
entire area and also getting the things on the side up here so I've got a bit of work to do let's just see if I can nail that yeah I can brilliant yeah okay I'll get on and do the other sides and be back in a moment or two okay and that is it all finished now so I've just got one or two little things I want to finish up over there but the outsides all done the insides all up and working and the thing that I want to do down here is the overflow control because this is going to be running 24 7 basically I think it's just within the spawn chunks and even if it isn't it's very near a lot of people's houses and a lot of things that are happening so it's quite likely to be loaded in most of the time so this is going to be running a lot so if we have a little look in yeah we're already getting good drops from this so what I need to do is just sort of get an overflow control so I've got the first chest and I've got two backup chests and then after that all the items are just going to be spat out into a bin yeah I think that looks nice that's going to be really cool and that's just going to produce lots of cactus because I need a few cacti and you know everyone else can come over here and grab what they need whenever they want and there's always going to be enough you're not going to need too much of that right then guys that's about all that I've got time for today so thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy this episode please do leave a like and if you're not already subscribed drop me a subscribe it's good to see those numbers going up I know that people enjoy my episodes then so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.